You want some oatmeal? Good morning, everybody. I'm starting some oatmeal in the Instant Pot this morning. Whenever I cleaned out my cabinet over there the other day, I saw I had these two gigantic things of oats. One of them is old-fashioned oats, the other one is quick oats. This morning, we're using the old-fashioned oats. So I'm putting in one cup and a half, one cup of water, and three-fourths of a cup of water, two and one-fourths of a cup of meal. So two cups and one-fourth of a cup. Now I'm putting in a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. That's it, we put the top on. You don't have to stir it. Make sure it's sealed and we're gonna do porridge for six minutes. And then after the six minutes, we can do the quick release or it's okay if it does a little bit of a manual uh, slow release. Uh, I'm gonna be letting this cook while I get ready so it'll probably do a little bit of a slow release. When I get finished getting ready, I'll come in here and release the rest of the pressure. get some apples chopped up and some strawberries and blackberries out of the refrigerator and I'll get out the brown sugar in case anybody wants to add a little bit more I don't think it's gonna be super sweet we'll see Manly's in a silly mood this morning everything I do is making him laugh oatmeal <laughs> Now we stir it up really good. I'm glad you like that. Looks good. Oh yeah, porridge. It smells really good. You might need to add a little more brown sugar, and I think I'm gonna add a little cinnamon to mine, maybe. A little brown sugar and cinnamon. He was laughing at this cup a minute ago. That oatmeal is very good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's good. He got to wipe his mouth with his sleeve. Y'all give him a minute. <laughs> Way better than oatmeal in a pack. It's really creamy, so you got to like your oatmeal to be really creamy. That's how we like it. And it's a good taste to it. You had that fruit to it. And, and that brown sugar. <laughs> All right, y'all. Got the kitchen cleaned up. Kids are started with schoolwork. Manly is still awake at the moment. I'm going to try to get him down for his nap in about 20 minutes or so. I'm going to go ahead and make my coffee. I'm just using Donut Shop. And I ran out of the pumpkin creamer in the International Delight brand. So we're going to try the Great Value one this morning and see how it is. I got it a long time ago, and I'm just now about to try it. Here it is. We're going to see if it's as good as International Delight or Coffee Mate pumpkin creamer. It smells really good. I like it. It's a little different. It almost has a little bit more of a spice taste, the, more of the pumpkin spicy taste than sweet. I mean, it is sweet. Don't get me wrong. It's sweet. But you get a little bit more of the pumpkin spiciness in it. But it's good. Yeah. I'm going to finish up that pumpkin spice one and it's on to Christmas creamers. It's a few hours later now. Manly is finally down for his nap. I've got to get him back into his routine before we went on fall break. He would take his nap. He'd wake up early. And then around the time we started school or sometimes even before school, he was ready to go back down for another nap. And usually that nap is around sometimes three to four hours. So that works out really good. That was not the case today. He's a little off track. 
So we'll work on that, but he's sleeping now. I'm picking up all of his toys. He was having a time over here playing with all these toys. It's almost lunchtime now, so when I get done cleaning this up, I'm gonna get some chicken ready. We're gonna have one of the kids' favorites for lunch, but we're doing it a little different today with the Instant Pot. All right, so I got the chicken all cubed up over here. We're gonna turn the Instant Pot onto a saute, and I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and put the chicken in. While the chicken's cooking, we're gonna get our vegetables ready. We're gonna use some carrots. We're just gonna cut these in half. Some green pepper. I'm not gonna use this whole green pepper, just about half of it. Now we need some onion. I'm gonna use red onion because I'm out of yellow onions right now. I'm not using the whole onion either, just a little bit of it. Now we're gonna dump all of this in with the chicken. That way the vegetables have time to get nice and soft because when we get ready to cook this, it's only gonna cook on high pressure for one minute. So if you don't want your vegetables to be soft, if you want them to be more crispy, then you can wait and add them in after the chicken is done. Jonah's helping me get the noodles out. He's already finished with his work. I think we're just gonna need two packs. If we need extra noodles though, we'll make some extra ones. But I think for what we're doing in the Instant Pot, we just need two packs. All right, Jonah's going ahead and opening the noodles for us. When you get them open, just sit them over to the side because we gotta do something with them, okay? I love all them little bitty pieces of noodles that fall out, don't you? They eat them. Okay, so we've got our flavor packs and we've got our noodles. He's having a snack. I'm fixing to take out one of the big pieces of chicken and see if it's almost done. I did them kind of small, that way they would cook faster. Yep, it's done. So we're gonna let it just keep cooking though for about another minute or two while we get the noodles ready. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of soy sauce in here. I'm just gonna drip a little bit, about that much, probably a tablespoon. So what we need to do is break the noodles. We're gonna do it over the Instant Pot. Now this part right now of the Instant Pot is not hot at all it's on the saute setting still so up here is not hot so we're gonna break the noodles let's see how we can do this here let's see if we can just just like that okay and then we'll split them apart this way then it'll be so and then yeah part. now you could add other sauces and leave out the chicken flavor that comes with the noodles we're gonna put the chicken flavor in because i know that's what the kids really like you're a good noodle breaker jonah all right so here's how it's looking now i'm gonna cancel the saute setting and we're gonna sprinkle in our chicken flavor. You got that one in? Mm -hmm. Now we just need one cup of water. All right, oh, we are yeah. sealed. I love listening to that sound. This is gonna cook on high pressure, so you mash pressure cook, and we make sure that the light is under high pressure. See that? Mm -hmm. If you wanted to change it to low pressure, you mash pressure level, but we want it on high pressure for one minute. So you need to mash this all the way down to one. After it cooks for one minute, we wanna do a quick release of the pressure because it said the noodles will get soggy if you don't quickly release the pressure. Can you cut me off a piece of onion? He loves onion just like me, y'all. We'll just be eating onion all by itself. <laughs> there you go. We don't worry about our breath or nothing. Yeah. We wash all the tea. That's right. We gotta do it two times if we eat too much. Yeah. Aldra's learning about photosynthesis right now. I mean, she is locked in learning about this. Wow, the noodles do look done. I'm very impressed. All right, we're gonna stir this up with a fork so that we can just fluff the noodles because we don't wanna mash them up. Okay, so here is lunch. This is really pretty actually, and it's good. I already tasted it, it's really good. The only thing I would do different next time is really brown the chicken get it nice and crisp on the outside um, but other than that it's really good i had apples left over from the oatmeal this morning so i just squirted a little bit of lemon juice on them and then stuck them in the refrigerator so they wouldn't brown too quickly so they still look pretty good so we have apples and then jonah picked this yogurt for his grape i don't know if they've ever tried grape yogurt before lunch time cc do you want strawberry banana strawberry or grape yogurt strawberry banana okay
Mainly. Is that good? He loves for her to build stuff and then he takes it apart and then he wants her to build it again. <laughs> okay, Instant Pot, I'm working you overtime today. For supper, what did I do with those beans? I know I took them over. There they are. They were under a cowboy hat. That's just, that's normal. I wanted to use Great Northern beans, but I couldn't find any dry Great Northern beans. So we're gonna use navy beans instead. And what I'm gonna do is just cook these beans in the Instant Pot like I would normally cook any other beans, pinto beans or anything in the Instant Pot. Then we're gonna go and add the ham later. Where is the ham? Thought I had the ham out too. The ham is already fully cooked, so we don't need it to be in there the whole time that the beans are cooking. Because by the time you build up pressure, do the cook time, and then do a little bit of a slow release, the beans take about an hour and a half. So what we're gonna do is just cook the beans. These might not take as long, because they're not as big as pinto beans. I'll probably set a 30 minute timer on them instead of 45 minutes, and we'll see how they are. But when the beans get done, we're just gonna cut up some of that ham and put in there with the beans. So if y'all remember in the grocery haul, this was originally gonna be a slow cooker um, white bean and ham soup, but I decided to turn it into an Instant Pot one, and that ham wouldn't fit in slow cooker or Instant Pot. <laughs> I was gonna have to cut it up anyway or either freeze that one and get a different one and I decided not to do that. So we're just gonna cut some of that ham off and we're gonna have ham again tomorrow night. I'll probably make the ham just in the oven or something. Maybe the slow cooker tomorrow. I might have enough room for it in there then. Tonight, it's white bean and ham soup. Or some people don't even call it soup. They just call it white ham and beans. Am I saying white ham? Have I been saying white ham this whole time? White bean and ham. Let's get these beans started. I'm just gonna rinse the beans real quick. Are y'all okay? Oh my goodness. I didn't want y'all to go diving into them beans. What y'all doing? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put in five cups of water with these beans. Well, I think I'm just gonna go with six cups, y'all. Just to be on the safe side, we're gonna go with six cups of water. Normally, I would, you know, cook some bacon or fat back or salt pork or something to season these beans, but we're gonna be adding the ham here in just a little bit. So, I'm just gonna cook the beans at first. We're sealed up and we're gonna go with 30 minutes. Cece wants to help with the cornbread. Okay. I think it has something to do with the fact that I burnt it last night. Is that the problem? Yeah. <laughs> she loves to help with anything she can stir, right? Uh-huh. Because we all know stirring is my favorite, favorite part. part. Can I pour it? Yeah. One egg. Now do I stuff? I don't have the package that they came in anymore because I put them in that bag. But the crack ones are kind of like pork rinds, only they're smaller and crunchier. They'll put it in here. Yeah. Well, I have a new helper. Hey! Cece wanted to go outside, didn't she? So it's just me and you, Manly. Jonah, but he's going out too, I think. You just helped me remember that the cornbread's in the oven, okay? There it is, white ham and bean soup with crackling cornbread that I didn't burn this time, and some pepper and onion on the side. So we are about to eat supper. This is so good, y'all. It is so good. I also made some macaroni and cheese because I knew the kids would like that with it too. <laughs> hey, baby. Uh, baby. Yeah. Good night, y'all, tomorrow.